Good morning. Welcome to WNY News, I'm Sue Johnson reporting from New York. Here are the headlines. Did Donald Trump mislead his lawyer Evan Corcoran? Is the Department of Justice ready to indict Trump for stealing classified documents? Where is the classified document Donald Trump had about Iran? Mike Pence won't be charged for the classified documents they found in his home. We begin with this latest news. The Department of Justice said, it won't be pressing any charges against former Vice President Mike Pence for the classified documents he had at his Indiana home, Josh Edwards has more. The Justice Department recently announced that, it won't be pressing any charges against former Vice President Mike Pence for the classified documents found at his Indiana home. Some classified documents were found by Pence's lawyer at his Indiana mansion and given back to the Department of Justice. The lawyer found four boxes containing copies of administration papers, two in which a small number of papers bearing classified markings were found. Two containing courtesy copies of vice presidential papers were also discovered which his lawyer handed over to the National Archives. I'm Josh Edwards for WNY News, Indiana. According to legal experts, Donald Trump misled Evan Corcoran, his lawyer in charge of handling the Mar-a-Lago classified documents case. Three months before FBI agents descended on Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate, federal officials were privately outlining the urgency of a Justice Department investigation into the former president's handling of classified documents to Trump's attorneys, according to a May letter from the National Archives and Records Administration. Jim Coleman has the rest of this report. In a communication, first disclosed by the conservative media outlet Just the News, the acting archivist summarily rejected Trump's efforts to shield documents from scrutiny and notified attorneys that FBI agents would begin reviewing an initial cache of highly sensitive materials recovered from Trump's Florida property in January. The classified documents, Wall wrote, represented more than 700 pages, adding that the papers were marked as classified national security information, up to the level of top secret and including sensitive compartmented information and special access program materials. The archivist appeared to express frustration with the Trump team's attempts to delay the FBI's access to the documents by raising privilege concerns. Prior to the FBI search on Mare Lago, Trump himself looked at the documents and took what he wanted to keep for himself. He asked his aide to move the boxes to a different location and some his cronies at Mare Lago refused to allow Evan Corcoran to conduct a thorough search misleading Mr. Corcoran to write an attestation signed by Christina Bob stating that all of the classified documents has been returned which was not true. Mr. Corcoran was recently subpoenaed by special counsel Jack Smith and Evan Corcoran hand over all of the notes he wrote doing his interaction with the former president Donald Trump. Jim Coleman for WNY News in Washington. In a recent development, Donald Trump had a Fox News primetime interview, where he admitted to taking the classified top secret documents from the House White to Mar a Lago. The Justice Department now have the smoking gun on tape of what Trump about the classified documents special correspondent reporter, Jennifer Dixon from our sister station in Florida, reports. Federal prosecutors have obtained a recording of former President Donald Trump on which he acknowledges that he was in possession of classified documents he took with him when he left the White House and that he did not have the power to declassify them. The recording is being scrutinized as part of special counsel Jack Smith's investigation of Trump's handling of classified documents after leaving Washington. According to the reports, in a 2021 meeting with people who don't have security clearances, Trump is heard at his Bedminster, New Jersey golf course discussing a multi-pitch, classified document in his possession that pertains to a possible attack on Iran. Notably, Trump is said to have spoken of his desire to tell other people about the document, but he acknowledged that he is legally prevented from doing so. The partially redacted documents that were seized during the August 8, 2022, FBI search of Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate. Department of Justice via AP slash file, since the FBI executed a search warrant on August 8, 2022, at Trump's Mar-a-Lago home and country club in Palm Beach, Florida, and recovered dozens of classified documents, Trump has repeatedly claimed he had declassified the sensitive material we also know that, Trump's lawyer turned in a laptop belonging to a former aide, outlets reported. The lawyer reportedly told federal agents the computer contained a folder with classification markings. According to WNY News, the classified documents were discovered at Mar-a-Lago but not in the area where Trump stored the batch of materials seized during the August search of his home by FBI agents. James Trustee, 
Trump's attorney, told federal investigators that classified materials had been electronically copied onto the laptop of the aide. The aide apparently did not know that they had scanned classified materials onto their laptop. Materials onto their laptop Trump is being investigated by Jack Smith, the DOJ special counsel, after hundreds of documents were discovered in Trump's Mar-a-Lago home after he left office in 2021. Jennifer Dixon, Palm Beach, Florida We do believe that the Department of Justice have all the evidence it needs to indict Donald Trump. We turn to our senior political legal analysts Emmanuel Johnson for that story. We do believe the ex-president, Donald Trump, will be indicted by the DOJ grand jury because they have overwhelming evidence against Trump taking and mishandling the classified documents he stole from the White House. We are sure Jack Smith will fist charge Donald Trump for the Mar a Lago classified document before the January 6 insurrection. Trump will be charged with the Espionage Act and obstruction of justice. Here is why Trump lied about declassifying the documents. The Espionage Act of 1917 prohibited obtaining information, recording pictures, or copying descriptions of any information relating to the national defense with intent or reason to believe that the information may be used for the injury of the United States or to the advantage of any foreign nation. Trump said, there doesn't have to be a process, as I understand it, because different people say different things. If you're the President of the United States you can declassify just by saying it's declassified. Even by thinking about it, Trump said in a 2022 interview with Fox News host Sean Hannity. In other words, when I left the White House, they were declassified. Donald Trump was caught on audio saying he had classified document on U.S. plan to attack Iran, but he, he can't show him out because it wasn't declassified and that documents is missing his lawyer can't find it. Please write your text here. We will leave with this story. It was reported recently that Donald Trump allegedly sold United States weapon secret for 100,000 million to China and possibly Saudi Arabia. If you are new to this channel please consider subscribing to this channel so you will be the first to know whenever we upload a new content and if you like this video hit the like button and share this video. Thanks for watching.